Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I have Filipino food. So yeah, this is, um, I don't know if you know Filipino that doesn't like this, but usually all Filipino, most Filipino like dried fish. So yeah, I have four different kind of dried fish. I went back to Philippines. Usually when I come home, I bring a lot of dried fish. So yeah, I do have this um, in Tagalog or English, I don't know what's the name of this, but I'm gonna name it in Visaya. So this is a pirit, yes, dried fish. Pirit, um, gagmain buli now. I don't know what you call this in Tagalog. Um, Lumayagan, which is pusit in Tagalog. And also lupoy, gagmain lupoy. So yeah, and I have green tomatoes. I have watermelon in the side. So if you're American, this might not be appetizing to you, but if you're a Filipino watching this, you probably is drooling. So yeah, and of course I have rice. Mm. This is my all-time favorite Filipino breakfast. Mm, so good. This is um small anchovies, which when you make it into dried fish like this, you can just eat everything. So yeah, this is anchovies, dried squid. I don't know what's the English name of this, but yeah, this is what they look like. I've been thinking to do this mukbang for forever because I always have this in my refrigerator. So I feel like I should do this, man. This would be so good for Filipinos. Especially to OFW Filipino. To all of W that doesn't have access to this, just imagine you're, you're eating with me. <laughs> mm. So good. This is only plain vinegar and chili. You don't have to put salt. So good. When I was a kid, we always have dried fish in the table. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. Hmm. I really like this, so meaty. So to all Bisaya out there. Ingon sila, kung dili daw ni mabulad o tarong, makahubog. Wapako kasulain ni nahubog, pero ina sila. Tinuod daw na. Hmm.
If you undercook the squid, it will get a little chewy. But if you cook it, not overcook, but just try it, it's crunchy. Is this called delis in Tagalog? I'm not sure. Here in America, you hardly see green tomato, but I found it yesterday when we went uh, peach picking. We went peach picking, and they sell it in front. This is so good. Always takes me back. This, all of this is not heavily salted because um, my family in Philippines, before I go there, they make some of this for me. So I always ask them to put this salt. I don't really like to buy this in the market because there's so much salt and I can't eat much of it. Mm -hmm. This is so good.
I usually I usually like my squid a little chewy, so a little bit undercooked, but I did not do it this time because it's gonna take forever. We're gonna have to sit here for a long time chewing it. Comment na kung naglaway mo. Murag makasod ang yun magbulad niya. I'm making kamatis. Let me Paris that. Ilhan na kayong tagabukid ko. Hindi yun magkutsara. Hindi <laughs> yun mag-deny. Pero kung magkaon bita mo bulad, Ayaw gyud din ni Durag Kutsara ah. Kaya murag. Apiki gyud ni yung image. Makaulaw dyan. Isa sa pagkaon na pwede mag-inarte is pagkaon bulad. Okay, ang lupo ay napanos. Bata pa ko eh, lupoy kinaon pero niya. Gusto mo mahubog? Anya, walay ilim nun or di mo ka afford mapalit o alcohol? Palit na lang o baligsing kong... <laughs> oh my God! 
baligsin kong piret nga wa na mao pagkabulan. <laughs> Kamurag sure jud mo mahubog. Kay murag di gyud di gyud mahubog bag singko. Ha ilam na, mag di gyud ka mahubog. Pero palit og piret. Bakay sigurado. Na apay bonus nga katol. <laughs> When you eat dried fish like this, uh, make sure you drink a lot of water after. Because as I said, it's salty. Especially if you buy, buy one off the market. Mm. I always bite my cheek. I don't know why. This is so good. So, I do have um, aligi, which is... Basically, it's um, crab... I don't know if I crab paste. Um I do use it when I make fried rice. And it's so good. So if you guys want to say that to see um an aligi fried rice mukbang, let me know. I would definitely eat it with maybe dried fish or fried fish let me know what you want me to eat it with or if you guys are interested to see that mukbang so yeah i stock up when i go to philippines Oh, sure. They do, you can buy dried fish here in America. It's expensive and it's so salty. I don't mind the price, but the saltiness of it, oh, it's killing me. I could not eat much. so That was a lot of dried fish. I wanted to show you guys how many kind of dried fish I have. And so it's not boring. So rekay kung galaway mo.
dried fish, bulad or tuyo is one of the signature um, food in Philippines. So if you see a person that eat dried fish, just assume they're Filipino because they, they probably is. of watermelon spicy I have two chili there In my mukbang, I tend to eat um, more than my regular meal. It's because when I do mukbang or when I eat mukbang, I only eat one, one time in the whole day. So yeah, I only eat mukbang and then I don't eat anymore. to balance up to balance it out by the way um check in the link down in the description of the website for my bag and also for my instagram account Eden's instagram account and also check out their channel i did upload um fruit picking videos that we did yeah this summer we did strawberry picking um cherry picking and also yesterday we did peach picking so yeah it's so fun we like to do those activities for the kids to get in touch with the nature oh man I'm so full ah, that was a good one so thank you all very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video kabalo kong galaway mo and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.